Santa Fe's style is borrowed from Mexican and Spanish tradition, but this house is no copycat. It is the only structure of its kind designed by the American master, Frank Lloyd Wright. Critics call this one of the finest adobe residences ever built. Owner Andrea Suero just calls it home. We're in Santa Fe, New Mexico, in a Frankwood Wright home that was designed for a residence in El Paso, Texas. This is the first approved version of Franklin Wright's Pottery House, which is the only adobe structure that he ever designed. It's absolutely beautiful to live in a gorgeous, gorgeous home, and I've lived in many a gorgeous home, and if I had to pick one of them, I would pick this one. We're really on a promontory. I mean, I have almost 360 views, which is sort of unheard of in this kind of mountainous territory we're in. It is set around the, the shape of an eye, just like the window. I don't know if you can see it behind me. It, the whole property is sort of shaped like that, and it's very nice. It was designed for a man who died in World War II, and so the plans were not completed. The developer bought the plans, and then he went broke, and then the bank took it over, and then the bank went broke for a little while, and it was unfinished, and then my mother bought it. Four bedrooms, four bathrooms, and then a guest house and a large garage. As the sun lowers in the winter, the sun comes all the way through the living room and warms it up tremendously. The pipes are actually what is put beneath most old cities. Uh, they're terracotta plumbing pipes that he ran through the thick adobe wall structure in order to capture the western light. So when sunset hits, the whole western side flashes like red or orange or just flashes, and in the morning they flash blue. When you swim under a bridge and into a little, little channel and up into the bathroom, it's just in, in, in insanely fun. And you swim into actually a fairly large room with a jacuzzi and a bed, which might sound scandalous, but if, if you want to relax, wrap up after you've gone swimming, have a hot shower, or you can come out gently the other way. And the heating vents are in that channel, so that channel always stays about 10, 15 degrees warmer than the rest of the pool. It's kind of divine, like a little weird built-in hot tub. The house has an incredible flow. Kitchen into dining room, into out, all sorts of outdoor doors, outdoor spaces, off to the outdoor grill. I think there are about 40 exterior doors. It's very nice. You can enter and leave and enter and leave and not, not feel that you're invading anyone else's space. It heats itself. Fireplaces everywhere. There's no need for air conditioning. You know, a curtain here, a curtain there. You know, it's, it's fully eco house. The place lit up at night is, is incredibly beautiful. All of a sudden you see everything. Everything glows and it feels very warm and ambient and, it's, and the views pick up. It's a beautiful, beautiful place to live. This is the one and only. Up next, an entrepreneur remodels a sacred space and discovers his own family history in the backyard. <laughs>